Five years in the making, the Vatican released the Dignitas Infinita, also known as the Infinite Dignity Declaration on Human Dignity. The document lists grave violations against human dignity and touches on a wide array of topics like poverty, war, human trafficking, sexual abuse, violence against women, abortion, surrogacy, sex change, gender theory, euthanasia, and assisted suicide, among others. According to the document, when referencing gender theory, the church wishes, first of all, to reaffirm that every person, regardless of sexual orientation, ought to be respected in his or her dignity and treated with consideration, and that the church recalls that human life in all its dimensions, both physical and spiritual, is a gift from God. This gift is to be accepted with gratitude and placed at the service of good. Desiring a personal self-determination, as gender theory prescribes, apart from this fundamental truth that human life is a gift, amounts to a concession to the age-old temptation to make oneself God, entering into competition with the true God of love revealed to us in the gospel. The declaration also reaffirms the church's no stance on sex change, stating, teaching about the need to respect the natural order of the human person, Pope Francis affirmed that creation is prior to us and must be received as a gift. At the same time, we are called to protect our humanity, and this means, in the first place, accepting it and respecting it as it was created. The church visited the sex change topic back in 2019 and rejected then that people can choose their gender. On the topic of abortion, the declaration states the church has always been against abortion and consistently reminds us that the dignity of every human being has an intrinsic character and is valid from the moment of conception until natural death. On the topic of surrogacy, the document states surrogacy violates the dignity of both the woman and the child, and that the legitimate desire to have a child cannot be transformed into a right to a child that fails to respect the dignity of that child as the recipient of the gift of life. The church also voiced concern over couples in wealthy countries exploiting women in poorer countries by having impoverished women bring their babies to term. The declaration also takes a stance against assisted suicide, stating, we must accompany people towards death, but not provoke death or facilitate any form of suicide. Remember that the right to care and treatment for all must always be prioritized so that the weakest, particularly the elderly and the sick, are never rejected. Life is a right, not death, which must be welcomed, not administered. And this ethical principle concerns everyone, not just Christians or believers. At the conclusion of the document, Pope Francis reaffirms the commitment to human rights is never finished. And this declaration should be considered a master plan and that human dignity should be at the center of every legal system.